Hey Destiny family, my name is Derek Martinez. I'm here with my wife, Anna. And we just wanna give you a part of our testimony from the start of when we started tithing about a year and a half ago. Um, so getting out of 2015, we actually moved from Killeen, Texas to Dallas, where we wanted to pursue our studies in biblical studies at the, Universe, or the Institute of Christ for the Nations in Dallas. And at this point in my life, and my wife's lives, we weren't tithing. Honestly, we would give an offering just to give it, to feel like we're doing what we needed to do. But in reality, we never stayed consistent with giving tithes. Um, me personally, I thought at the time, and I had a mindset at the time that 10% was really hard for me to give out of my money. And getting to Dallas, I noticed that my relationship with God got to a standstill where I felt as if we had something missing between me and him. Um, I went from my two-year-old son, Liam, speaking, uh, being, going up his growth chart just like any other kid to a three-year-old that said nothing. Um, Liam didn't say a word. He would not say hello, he would not say good night, he would not say mom, dad, water, anything. And that was really affecting me as a father because I'm I'm the one that needs to provide and I'm the one that needs to help this child grow and he just stopped out of nowhere. So in that time I started seeking after God and I asked him, what is something that is holding you back from me? Is it, if it's sin, if it's something from my past, just let me know. And God told me very clearly in a night of prayer that the only time that Liam will start to speak and Liam will become the man that he needs to, that he will grow up to be, is when I give everything fully to God first. And the first thing I thought about was my finances because I never actually gave my finances to God. I trusted him with what I had left over and I said, multiply this. And that obviously didn't work in any aspect of my life. In the beginning of my time at CFNI, me and Anna sat down and we spoke and we talked about giving our tithings. And for me, it was a more of a conversation of should we not let's do it. And Anna immediately told me, this is something that I grew up doing. This is something that my family does. And that's why they're so prosperous is because they're blessed because they give God what is his. And then they honor him by giving him more on top of that. For me, me growing up, I wasn't raised giving God anything but what I had left over. That point in my life, I decided on my first paycheck, you know what, God, I'm gonna give you this before I pay any bills, before I do anything. And to be honest, it was one of the toughest things that I've ever done. At the time, I wasn't employed. I wasn't having a full-time job. In my job career, I was doing freelance work here and there, little jobs. And for us, every dollar mattered. We went months where we would get $2,000 from one or two shows that I would do. And then we would go two or three months with $0 of income. So giving up $200 in one month, that's money that I can use in another month. Um, so for me, that $200, I was holding on to with everything I had dearly. But then I just started to tell God, you know what, I'm gonna give it to you first. And making decisions like that is what led us to where we are today, where one night I'm sitting on the couch with Anna, we're both financially frustrated in our relationship. Just honestly, we were having fights, we were having times where it was just like, what are we gonna do? And I get a phone call saying, hey, we have a job for you. Do you wanna come here to a church that is well known in the Dallas area to do something that you love? The interview said next morning, next day I'm hired. I'm hired on the job. Right there in that little interview says, I like your heart, I feel something from God to just hire you and give you this opportunity. Knowing that where I was going compared to the other guys who are in that position, I was nothing. So I knew it was from God when this happened. And when me and Anna sat down and we talked about it, we were like, wow, this is one of the first huge blessings and it's not something that I'm looking for because I wasn't looking for the job. I didn't apply for it. I didn't go searching for it. God brought it to me. I had my first petition prayer answered. I needed a job. I needed a job to live in Dallas. My second prayer was my son. And I told God, you know what, God? I'm gonna be faithful and I know you're gonna be faithful. And months went by where my son wouldn't say a word. He wouldn't say anything. He would just mumble. He would just hum. He would point at things. And he got to a point where he started looking depressed. We start doing this and we start faithfully tithing and offering just over and above what we could. And little by little, we see Liam 
just opening up. And from one week to the next, he's adding a word to his vocabulary. Simple things like mom and dad were things that brought me to tears because my son was speaking again. After mom and dad comes water, comes I love you, comes Jesus, comes different words that he couldn't say before. Exactly, he couldn't say anything before. And we take him to speech therapy, and in the speech therapy, the lady says, I've never seen a recovery like this. Your son is bouncing back and he's going past where kids his age should be. And he's bouncing back and I give all the glory to God because it was nothing that we did. We couldn't make him speak because I tried for a full year without God. I tried without doing, giving him the area that I didn't want him to touch, which was my finances. And in this time, when he starts speaking, I just see God in every little thing he does. I see him becoming a happier child. I see him being less stressed out. I see him being able to express himself. And it might sound like, oh, you gave tithe an offering for this, but it was never that. It was allowing God to come into the one area where he wasn't allowed into. It was more about trusting God for, and putting God first mm -hmm. in our lives. So we put him first in everything. We put him first in our finances, and that's when we saw everything else come to pass. And I feel like by giving offerings to God, by putting God first in our finances, God uh, really has uh, been blessing us. If you really do trust God, I know that he can do way more than he has ever done in your life. So just put God first. Put God first in your finances. Put God first in everything that you do. Because I know that he can do way more in your life than he has done in ours. So it's just an example to you and to your family.